viewing an object is by cutting and slicing yes so now let us play a slicing game mm, i'm hungry also so what i'll do i'll take a bread let me take a knife now with this knife i'm gonna cut this bread so let's see after cutting what cross section we're gonna get okay so now let me slice this bread into different shapes so but still i'm getting only one shape right so what's that see that's a square right so each piece of this piece is a square and we call this face as a cross section of a old bread okay and this cross section is nearly a square in this case so this is one of a method so another method is a shadow play yes it's a shadow play this is like a magic show so what i'm going to do is a magic show now first i need a 3d model right so i need a cone let me take a cone first next i need a torch yes torch now if i allow the light to pass on this 3d model which is a cone you can observe that the shadow is of a triangle in shape which means when the light falls on this 3d model you are getting a 2d model which is a triangle similarly let me take a cube now same again so let me leave a light on this cube so let's see what will be the shadow so when the light passing through this cube you can observe that there is a 2d shape which is of square okay similarly if i take a cylinder okay now again the light passing on this cylinder so now let's see what will be the shadow so if you observe it is a rectangle right yes so likewise this is also one of a method okay so this is called as a shadow play and there is one more method so it's a third way is just by looking at from certain angles okay where you get different views for example let me take a house and a monkey so there is a monkey so which is in front of a house now so here when the monkey is standing in front of a house it is called as a front view because the view is from the front similarly now the same monkey is standing at the side of a house now here we are having a side view because the view is of side or a viewing is from the side now the monkey is on the tree so since the tree is taller than the house so it can see the top portion of a house so here the view is top view because the view is from the top so likewise we can see the three views the front view side view and the top view so this is a third method okay so likewise we can visualize this object so this is about the chapter visualizing the 3d shapes or a solid shape